Hello and welcome to this quick look at using the Hummingbird Firmware Burner. This is an easy to use utility for switching modes on your Hummingbird. Here I'm going to run you through your options when using the Firmware Burner. Start by making sure your Hummingbird is plugged into your computer and the Hummingbird Firmware Burner has been launched. Out of the box, your Hummingbird board will be set to the first option you see here, Hummingbird USB Tethered Mode. This is the option to use for Scratch, Snap, Create Lab Visual Programmer, and other options that require your Hummingbird to be plugged in or tethered to your computer at all times. Next, we'll take a look at the Bluetooth Adapter 2.0 and Microbit Adapter option. You should use this option with the Bluetooth 2.0 adapter and the BirdBlocks app on a mobile device. You should also use this option if you have a Microbit adapter. Next we have the Hummingbird Bluetooth Adapter 1.0 option. Use this option to allow your Hummingbird to work with a Bluetooth 1.0 adapter to enable use with the BirdBlocks tablet app. Next you have Arduino mode. This will allow you to download and run a program on your Hummingbird board using Arduino or ArduBlock. Once you have a program downloaded to your board, that program will continue to run when you disconnect the board from the computer. You will have to plug the board back in with your USB cord to download new programs in this mode. You can also use the utility to upload custom firmware to the Hummingbird. Once you have selected the mode you need, you will press the reset button on the Hummingbird Duo. For example, let's take a look at setting a board to one of the options, Hummingbird Tethered Mode. Select the option and then press the Reset button on the Hummingbird Duo. The button is located next to the USB connector on the bottom side of the board. Once Reset is pressed, the firmware burner will load the firmware you have selected onto the Hummingbird board. Once the USB firmware has been loaded onto the Hummingbird, the Hummingbird firmware burner will display this message. Once you hit OK, the status message will change as well. And that wraps up this look at the Hummingbird Firmware Burner. Check out our website for additional tutorials and info.